Hi guys, Jason here. Welcome to our Golf Nut channel. Today we have gone mad and we have gone crazy mad when it comes to reviewing the new 11 hybrids irons, irons hybrids. Irons which are hybrids or hybrids which are claiming to be irons. I don't know, but they are hybrids. Now I've got this in the five all the way down to pitching wedge. And yes, they do a pitching wedge in a hybrid, the whole lot. And they do it also in a three or four. So you have got scope if you want to go through the whole entire range of irons in hybrids but yeah you've got choices if you want and of course you can also order them individually if you wanted to infill or kind of do an experiment you can buy one see where it goes like that kind of idea so they've got options um there's pros and cons when it comes to the direct to consumer market we'll go through that in a sec but i've got it on a hole i have it on beaver hills country club hole 14 i've got it set at 168 lovelies now these lofted wise are fairly sensible. They are not crazy crank lofts. Now we've had seven irons in the past, which are 27 or so degrees, super cranked. These are 31 and the lofts up on the screen, I'll show you. So they're not too bad. They're fairly well standard nowadays. I mean, there's a lot of golf clubs out there which are 30 degrees for a seven iron. This is 31. Now, um, I've got this in a KBS tall graphite iron shaft. Now, when it comes to shaft wise, they mainly do KBS, obviously KBS, good manufacturer shafts. And I think you also got an option for projects possibly as well. But one of the cons when it comes to direct to consumer is you are gonna be a little bit handcuffed when it comes to your choice of custom fit. Um, but again, KBS is a very good choice either way. Right, um, I've got the whole set 168 yards. So we're just gonna give, give it a hit because I've had a little go with these already and these are are very fun to hit. There you go, that's a heel. Low heel, there you go, <laughs> to start with. Um, these are hilarious. That's shown up as, as an iron, but obviously it's not. It is an iron, but yeah. So that face was 2.1 open. How this knows where target is, I don't know, but it still wants it target, generally speaking, regardless of what I do. Nine mil heel, nine mil lot. I could feel that that was a uh, mishit straight away. Um, that is 1.9 yards offline, 34 yards in the air and 49 degrees of center angle. And that's what you're gonna get with these. You're gonna get height and you're gonna get some stop. Now I can hit these high if I want to, but that's coming in at 50 degrees nearly. And that's a miss hit. <laughs> these are just funny. Um, they do look big, obviously. Down by the golf ball, these things are, um, yeah, beefy because they're hybrids. And yeah, if you look at the sole, it's fairly clean. They're simple design. There are no bells and whistles and no tungsten weights and certain bits and screw bits here and bits added on and foils and channels. No, it's just a fairly simple hybrid design. Now they do obviously sound very, very hybrid-like. There you go, that's a me, that's a miss. Normally that's going to miss the green. No, it's not going to miss the green. <laughs> I'll give you an idea how bad that was. There you go, ready? Path was good. Face was five open. Uh, Formula low, 13 heel. Still hit the target. I mean, this is a game of just how bad you can feel that you can hit these and still make it to target. I mean, that's just... Very good. I mean, that's a, I mean, 37 yards in the air and 50 degrees ascent angle from a 13 mil heel. It's just like really very, very good. You can't complain with this at all. And that's back to normal. Slightly healy. Slight, I mean, there you go. Just over the pin. <laughs> oh, these things are hilarious. There you go, eight mil heel, three mil low. Oh, but they're just funny. They really are. 50 degrees ascent angle again. I mean, okay. When it comes to why people don't use these things, well, they're, they're hybrids. So they do sound interesting. So I don't know if you can hear from the microphone, but these definitely sound like hybrids. If there's any kind of technology in these heads when it comes to trying to quieten these things down, doesn't really work, I'll be honest. But when it, I, like really how can you I, I, if it wasn't for the fact that I don't like the look of them because I'm a blade player so you cannot get anything polar opposite than this to a blade it's just <laughs> it just feels like I'm using a club as in not a club as in a big old club 
to hit a golf ball. But I tell you what, you cannot just get away from the performance of this head. A little leaky one again, feel that one, but that was four <laughs> degrees open. There you go. Is it still hitting target? Of course it is. Oh my word. Now, if I'm doing this with a, still slightly Healy, um, if I'm doing this with a, um, an iron, they're missing target. To, for this, this is a bit of a game of feeling how bad I can put a swing on it and still hit target. It just doesn't want to seem to curve. Now this has got roll and bulge. This is the biggest difference that you're gonna find with a hybrid head over an iron. An iron's got straight face and yes, it's got perimeter weighting and trying to be forgiving off, off center hits, absolutely. But you can't compare it to that. It is just, just hilarious. Right, I've got this, uh, I'm gonna test this in the five iron as we'll do the pitching wedge as well for a bit of fun. Let's go flick over the data set. Let's go stick it on a hole where I'm gonna be hitting 190 odd yards of the five iron and see if the five iron is just as good as the seven. Back now with the five iron hybrid, iron hybrid, iron, you know, kind of get the idea. Uh, still at Beaver Hills, hole four, um, 197 lovely yards. I'm gonna go give this one a whack. Uh, it's still a hybrid. They're all hybrids and they definitely look all hybrid. Now, I, Ken, you've got, it's a very clean look and they all look exactly the same, just a little bit less or a little bit more face looking at you when it comes to the loft. Let's go give this one a hit to see how this one works. Because if this works anything like the, um, the seven hybrid iron, iron, iron hybrid, whatever it is, uh, this will be fairly forgiving to hit. Yeah, there's my lovely, normal, classic fade that I hit my five irons as such with. Although I don't feel in any way, shape or form, this is gonna be difficult to uh, get to the target. So um, 193 yards carry, uh, yeah, three degrees open. So three degrees open when you're talking about, generally speaking, as soon as you start taking the loft off, if your face is open by any degree, whatever it would be, you'll start seeing even more and more curvature. That considering it's three open, uh, yeah, that done very, very, very well. What was it, eight yards off target at 193, 202 yards finish, yeah. That's 46 degrees descent angle. Now, this being a 24 degree head, this is a four iron in my head. My five iron is 27 degrees, and I don't have a four iron. The four iron would normally be 24, which this is. So I don't normally go for it. Why? Because my four iron just doesn't hit it high enough. I play much uh, less forgiving clubs than this. And so it doesn't go up high enough and stuff like that. So it doesn't stop quick enough. So I choose to go to a hybrid for my four or effectively one of these. And I tell you what, it's like using my hybrid. And it is because it is basically a hybrid. I mean, it's just boring. Uh, it is, I, I'm not speechless because I don't generally speaking get speechless, but it's getting close. I honestly feel that, what's this, 197? Yeah, better strike that time. Face still three degrees open, mind. It just doesn't want to curve. And this is the fun thing about when you start talking about hybrid irons, or hybrids, or woods, <laughs> which is effectively this is. Um, it just controls, it, like, I don't know what to say. I don't think I'd ever use these purely because I don't like the look of them personally, because they're hybrids. But if you just get rid of all that and just go by the performance of what it gives you, these things are just hilarious to use. They're just within reason, you know it's gonna go to target. Little fadey one again, that's my classic thing that I do. Always, generally speaking, as the, as the, the shafts get longer, I have a tendency, to, my patterns are to start fading a little bit more. I know these patterns, so if I was gonna do this normally, I will go into a sec, uh, path perfect, face reopen again, there you go. It's a pattern, <laughs> learn from your patterns. And it's going 34 yards in the air, 47 degrees descent angle at basically 200 yards. It's much, much more functional than an iron. It just has the benefit of being a hybrid. Why more people do not play these things, I do not know. Even look, even manufacturers, let's be fair. Mizuno, 
ping, tailor made. They're all going either HL, high launch, or HD, high draw. They're all looking at going into changing their iron designs to be much more like a hybrid. Now, yes, you've got the ideas of Cleveland launchers that have been around to do the exact same thing, but yeah, I mean, one of the whole ideas of a DTC brand, direct to consumer, is price. And yes, these are distinctly cheaper than if you were to go look at other brands, especially the premium market. Yes, they are. And yes, also, let's be honest, you are going to struggle when it comes to certain custom side of things, as opposed to going full premium where you get any shaft you like, you get any grip you like, you can go tweaky tweaky with the heads galore, but then you do pay um, premium prices for it. So there's this kind of seesaw, but from the performance only. I mean, I will go to the pitching wedge for a bit of fun, but this is just hilarious to hit. Slightly toey. Look at that. Over the pin. <laughs> oh, it's just off the back. The strike was marginally out of all, but it's my best delivery yet. Hence why it didn't decide it wanted to cut, because that's my normal thing. So. And when it comes to a pattern of this golf club, generally speaking, I wouldn't aim at target for this. I would, well, I'd aim at target No, I'm gonna fade away. And on the occasion that I do get the odd slightly toey one, I know it's gonna to go to target. So I'm gonna use my patterns when it comes to playing this. Now, these are just brilliant. Right, let's go to the pitching wedge and let's go see what 40 odd degrees of loft looks on a hybrid. So pitching wedge in hand, it is, um, 43 degrees, and when you look at it, that's a lot of loft on a hybrid. Um, I've still got this at Beaver Hills. It's a uh, hole eight now, 130 yards, so a uh, 43 degree pitching wedge, give or take, shouldn't be too much of an issue. Looking at a head with 43 degrees of loft on it, and it's a hybrid. And so when you put this down by the golf ball, uh, that's a lot of face looking at you. And the interesting thing as well, if you look at the actual design of the head, and it doesn't matter if it's the pitching wedge or even the five, slightly yes, but definitely you can see it much more on the pitching wedge, seven as well. Um, the, the actual loft, the whole head of the golf club is slightly onset, not offset. So offset is when the head is behind as such the shaft. So you get that kink back in the head. This is physically onset. So the leading edge of the golf club is a head of the shaft, which does look a bit different. But um, there is a lot, like a lot of loft down by that ball. Wow. It'd be interesting to see how this one goes because this I don't think I've ever hit anything like this before. Oh, that's out the bottom. That's out the bottom. <laughs> Still done really well, mind. That is my fault. I mean, I don't think you could actually get any lower and not top that. 15 mil low, and that's still coming at 46 degrees. <laughs> you can hit something uh, that bad on one of these, and it just rolls up the face. What's the launch angle on that? 18.3. Yeah, so it was launching a fraction low, but then spins up at 9.6. It's still spinning very well, considering that was such a poor hit. Let's see if we can get a slightly better contact this time. Pushy. Face was open, path was from the inside. <sighs> Hit the same number though. That was toey. But again, you can see there, delivered 1.4 from the inside, 1.6 open, say, please go right. That's me, not the golf club. 49 degrees descent angle. It's just, just, it's just doing everything that you want to when it comes to, this is hitting a 135 number, give or take, regardless of what I want to do with the face, regardless of where I want to hit it on the face. <laughs> Same thing again, me with an open face. What's the number? 135 yards. <laughs> Look at that, I mean, now I've got three completely different strikes there and they've all, I mean, this is hilarious. If, if I could only do a better job of actually delivering the face straight rather than out to the right, um, these would be peppering that pin. But the, the it's just going the same thing, regardless if it's a five, a seven, or a, or a pitching wedge. It's the whole set. You can just do what you want. I'm not going to close my eyes and hit one, but I kind of do feel like I could do that. 
slightly better delivery that time. Still toey. Might go a bit further. Of course it don't. Goes basically exactly the same. 135 yards. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Now, do you know what? This is the point where I would normally cut the video and then I'd go hit all of them a load of times. Just whack, 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 all over the face. High toe, heel low, that kind of idea to get a picture of how they work from different parts of the face. I, I, do you know what? This is gonna be the first time I don't think I'm even going to bother. I don't think I have ever. Now there is a reason for that because obviously these are hybrids. Let's get it real, these are hybrids, these are not irons. And so comparing them to an iron is not even fair. But this is the first video I think I've ever tried out a piece of equipment within the iron sector, as in a 43 degrees pitching wedge, that I don't think I'm even gonna bother when it comes to its performance and its forgiveness. Because, I mean, just those shots there and all the ones that I've done, they just want to go within reason, the exact same number, especially this thing. Um, it's, uh, I'm gobsmacked about how good these things are. Now, okay, we're comparing apples, apples to oranges. We, we can't say we're comparing the same thing because these are not irons. So when you're trying to compare these against a flat bladed golf club, you cannot because this has got roll and bulge. The center of gravity on this thing is so far further back and lower on these because they're hybrids than a iron so again it's just not fair but i really don't understand why people aren't playing as in people that need forgiveness people that need help in getting the golf ball going up I and mean, that's 52 degrees ascent angle it's just so so fun to use now do i like them personally no i don't i'll be absolutely honest about that i don't there's pros and cons to it the pros are the performance the pros are the forgiveness that you get out of every one of the, it doesn't matter which one it is, but the cons for me, okay, KBS is a really good shaft manufacturer. They are, they're like properly very, very good, but they won't fit everybody. So when it comes to custom fitting, let's be honest, there might be a situation if you need, uh, say a Nippon 120 stiff or something like that, then you might struggle when it comes, it's still worth testing. And of course you can buy them obviously in a single individual lion or hybrid, but you kind of get the idea. The price point is a very good pro, absolutely, it is. Um, and then for me, a con is it looks, it's a hybrid set and I'm a blade player. I love looking at shiny, small things. That's me. What you guys like for you is subjective and individual to you. So well done 11 for making a, um, well, a unique set of irons, hybrids, irons, hybrids. And I think they're something like 90 pound, 89 pound a club. So when you compare that to a lot of others, when it especially comes in the premium manufacturer, they are a little bit cheaper as well. So hope you liked the video. If you did, go on thumbs up. YouTube's likes it, so do I. Down there is a subscribe button. If you could click that one, it's free. It's great for the channel. It allows me to make more kind of content like this. And while you're at it, there's a bell icon. That's a notification bell. If you click that one, that will notify you next time I upload another video. So I hope you will. And we'll see you again soon.